Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode we're going to be diving into the Japanese side of Windows once again as we explore that last OS Ton CD that I did not get a chance to take a look at in my last OS Ton related video from around a month ago. Now if you didn't see this video you can go check it out up in the cards but basically I just went through and did an unboxing and brief exploration of some of the things that I purchased from Beta Collector and this CD was the one thing we we did not get to take a look at because of just the insane amount of stuff that's contained on it that when I started to go through it off camera I was like you know what I should just save this for a dedicated video because it just deserves one. What I've been doing for the past couple of hours is going through and getting all of the file names translated so that we can accurately discuss what each of these files are. And you can see we got a 16 page Google Doc here with just every single file. So this has taken a while to do and uh, I'm definitely excited to take a look at it. Now if you've seen any of my other OS Ton videos you'll know that it's pretty common for these discs to have a theme contained on them which would include wallpapers and some audio files to replace the default window sounds we certainly have that on here but we also have a ton of additional extras including some promotional material and some illustrations as well that i think are pretty cool before i get ahead of myself though let me just give you a little bit of a refresher so this disc uh, was included with certain japanese copies of windows 8.1 that you would have purchased around Around the time the operating system launched in Japan and it came in a box along with some other promotional related things some stickers and a Skype calling card a little promotional thing yeah the disc was obviously the main thing I mean aside from the operating system obviously and on it we've got four folders a dot desk theme pack file an RTF file and two PDF files so starting at the top and working our way towards the bottom this first folder is labeled system voice we got desktop backgrounds bonus track windows family illustration collection which is what we're going to be spending i would say most of the video on because there's a ton of stuff in here we've got that madobe family desk theme pack file we have a readme rtf document and these two pdf files here are the usage guidelines because this was something i mentioned in the last video as well microsoft actually gave you permission to utilize these os ton characters in your own derivative works just as long as you followed along Along with some simple guidelines and how those characters are supposed to be portrayed which I think is nice that they even let you do that in the first place of course I'm sure people would have done it anyway even if they didn't explicitly give you permission I mean for those people who are really into this stuff but it's nice that they gave back to the community a little bit here so let's go ahead and start off by applying the Madobe family desktop theme pack here you can hear right off the bat that there is an audio file from all four of the Madobe characters. These two over here were the personification of Windows 8, Nanami was the personification of Windows 7, and Claudia here was the personification of Windows Azure, which is, uh, yeah, definitely neat to see Windows Azure getting some representation as well. So the theme pack here contains three wallpapers. We'll just briefly go through them here. So this is the first Halloween-focused one. We've also got, we'll go to the next wallpaper here. This is the Happy Birthday wallpaper, which was kind of uh, focused on like Windows 8's launch birthday, I guess you could say, because, you know, you got the 8.1 balloons here going on in the background. So it was kind of like a birthday as in it's windows like windows 8.1 is is being birthed that's kind of an odd thing to say but you know that's that's what i believe is trying to represent here and we got the halloween one but there is one more and that is uh this one right here where they're out shopping you got claudia here with a tablet and yeah it's just it's really neat i think i mean i'm definitely no like weeb anime ultra fan or anything but i gotta say i think it's pretty fascinating that microsoft adopted this whole OS Ton thing and created some official characters that were used to market Windows in Japan. The RTF file is pretty much a readme on how to apply the Madobe family theme pack in particular here. Uh, so, you know, it goes through and, and talks about how to do that. Very simple stuff, of course. And this right here, these are all of the audio files that I was talking about. So you've got Claudia, you've got I, you, and this is Nanami actually, and this is you. And this is, hello everyone, this is them just saying konnichiwa, I believe. Although, of course, Windows Media Player's little thing here is going to come up and ruin it. Let's, 
Yeah, so that's them saying konnichiwa, which is the same sound that we just heard. Each of these folders contain 34 individual WAV files. So we got 34 here, 34 here, and 34 here. So we'll just pick a couple of these at random here. Let's maybe go with number 25 here. Windows and let's maybe say number 15. So that's the system error sound. I can hear her saying that uh, roughly. So yeah, these are all of Claudia's voice lines. And then again, back here, we've got the other three OS Ton girls that are featured in this pack. And I had kind of thought about going through and playing, oh, looks like Windows Explorer just crashed there. Of course, it wouldn't be an MJD video without something going wrong here. Um, yeah, I did debate on going through and just playing each one of these audio files individually, but I didn't really think that would be that exciting because number one, there are some duplicates in here that we've already heard in some of the other videos, particularly with these three, but I am going to be archiving this. So if you want to browse through the contents of this disc and go through each one of these audio files individually, I mean, feel free to do so. And if you understand Japanese, I'm sure you'll be able to understand what they're saying. That's the thing. I don't, so I'm not going to be able to tell you exactly what they are saying. So, and because this is a video, obviously having a more you know, visual component to it is far more ideal than just listening to some audio uh, tracks for 30 minutes or however long this video is going to be. Yeah, these are the audio tracks. They are there if you want to take a look at them. But let's go ahead and back up and go to the root of the disk and move on to our second folder, which are the desktop backgrounds. And we've already actually taken a look at these. These are the three desktop backgrounds for the theme that we have applied right now. The Halloween, Happy Birthday, and the shopping. The really cool thing, again, once we get to this folder here, which we're going to get to in like two seconds because this right here is a bonus track. Uh, not exactly two seconds, but you know what I mean. Uh, so this is another audio file. Speaking of how I wasn't going to go through audio files, we'll go through this one very briefly because this is like a five minute track of them kind of like having a conversation with each other. At least it feels that way in, in certain points. Again, I can't give you an accurate translation, but I'll go ahead and play a little bit of this here. So some of it is like sound files, just individual sound clips, at least from what I can tell, uh, at least it, it sounds that way to me in certain areas. But then there's also like where it almost sounds like they're having a conversation. I could be wrong, but let's just skip to like two minutes, 26 seconds here. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I could be totally wrong on that, but this just translates to bonus track dot wob. So, I mean, I don't know what really the purpose of it was other than just to have like a, a bonus thing on here. Because this is not a part of any of the themes. This is not like the startup sound or anything. I mean, God, I would hope not. It's five minutes long. I mean, you don't want to wait five minutes for your computer to like finish playing the startup sound. Uh, yeah, I certainly would not want to. But yeah, so... That's like what looks like most of what's on this disc, right? Because you got this one folder here, but this is going to be like 75% of the video. We're just getting sorted because in this folder, we've got five more folders here, and each of these contain a bunch of illustrations, which I think are pretty cool. So we'll jump into the first folder here. This is Claudia Madobe. And Claudia Madobe's folder contains a calendar, half of the calendar. For some reason, there's not all 12 months of the year. There's only months one through six, January through June. So we'll go into January here. And what's cool, and this is the case with pretty much every folder in here, not only do you have the image, but you also have additional images of rough drafts and line drawings and compositions that were used to create the final image. There's also a PSD file in here, a Photoshop document that you could open up and, you know, turn off some of the layers and 
and I, you know, modify the image slightly if you wanted to. But this right here is the final image with the calendar. So here's Claudio Madobe, and here is the calendar, and you got some copyright info down here at the bottom. Of course, Microsoft has to make sure to put that on there. This next image is the same image without the calendar. And then this next image is an initial draft of the background here so you can see how that transformed into you know the final backdrop this is a composition that was not used or at least it's that same kind of shot here just from a different angle uh, so they evidently did not use this in the final calendar image. And then this is kind of this image right here, but with Claudia added here, you can see she definitely, you know, it's in an earlier stage of her drawing here because it's not as lively and animated as the character looks in the final drawing. And then right here is the line drawing of her. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I, I it's really neat that they included this. There was really no reason like for them to do so, but they've done that with every single image on here including the wallpapers that we've just explored here we'll get to those in a moment uh, so here's february again we got the calendar there we'll go uh, right here this is the same image without the calendar and then you've got four compositions here where you can see they changed her shirt around a little bit and they ended up deciding on you know this one here but you can see some of the different versions of the image that they had uh, right here is a line drawing or uh, rather this is the line drawing right here this is uh the initial rough draft of the final you know when they finally decided on which of these styles they were going to use this is the draft they created this is the line drawing of that you can see the background uh and some of these other elements come more into detail here if my arrow keys will actually work as i'm going through photo viewer here so you can see between them like the wine glass the thing of flowers over here gets a lot more detail as they animate it which uh, i think is pretty neat adds more detail to it and then right here is a line drawing of the background it's the same story for these uh, other you know months here uh march through june um, we'll just jump to June here since, I mean, it's pretty much the same story. You've got a calendar, we've got it without the calendar, you've got a, uh, let's see here, this is the uh, initial rough draft number one, number two, so you can see they changed the sizing of her a little bit there, and then this is uh, composition number one, composition number two, they changed her design a little bit there, and then this is the line drawing of her and the background. Now this one right here is kind of just a collection of images of Claudia and uh, Nanami here. They're just wearing like different outfits and, and such, and these are the, you know, little like like illustrations of them uh, not in the final form but you can see like her hairstyles changing so it was kind of like the process of going through and picking the right hairstyle the route the right outfit of course that would change depending on what image that she would actually be utilized in her outfits obviously change through these desktop wallpapers here this one right here is interesting because this is Claudia and Ruri Azumi, who is one of these supporting characters from the two original net animations. I believe she's actually a leading character in one of them. Probably not by Microsoft. They probably contracted an animation studio of some type to create technically an anime original net animation, which, you know, features these characters similar to the commercial that we saw with Nanami Madobe. And so uh, this right here, we'll just get out of that. Uh, this is... Claudia, and this is uh, Rui right here. So this is her, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. And it's kind of the same story. You know, you got the final image, you've got the uh, rough draft, uh, rough draft number two, you can see her uh, shirt, you know, changes there. Now this one right here is another wallpaper. And I believe the context is it's Claudia saying, she's sorry or she's like apologetic she doesn't look very apologetic to be honest with you but that's kind of roughly what this translates to again of course i'm not going to be able to get 100 percent accurate translation using deep l and google translate but that's kind of the context that i'm getting she's in an office and apologizing for being late or something uh, and then this right here is one of the uh sketches the rough drafts uh, here's, you know, with some more color added to it. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to go through all of these. We might end up going through all of these. I don't know. But uh, I mean, some of them are just really interesting. Like this one right here. This is like a color palette of each individual color, you know, that's used in this image here, you know, down to her eyes and 
her glasses here. And then this is cool too. They also included rejected compositions. So for whatever reason, they decided not to use her in this pose here, her holding this book or whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Windows Photo Viewer bugs out after a while and does not accept input from my arrow keys, which is quite annoying. So yeah, that's what these two are. Moving on to this one right here. Uh, this I believe is, yeah, uh, Claudia in this different art style where she's like shorter. There is a proper term for this, I believe, but uh, I just don't, uh, I don't know what it is off the top of my head because I'm not, again, not a ultra like anime watcher fan person or anything. So uh, yeah, the anime people in the audience will probably know what this art style is properly referred to. But uh, yeah, so, you know, kind of same thing going on. I, I don't mean to repeat myself, but I mean, there's only so much you can say about like, oh yeah, it's, there's the final drawing. And then here are the sketch and the line drawing that led to it. Uh, this is cool too, because it's kind of her displaying different um, emotions. So there's four different emotions in here. You've got joy, anger slash rage, sorrow slash sadness, and comfort slash ease. And that's pretty much what, like this right here is uh, joy. So she's kind of just, or rather more of like a neutral stance, I would say. And then this one here, I believe, uh, let's just see, there's four of each. So we go down to the fifth one. This right here is going to be rage or anger. So you see she's kind of like a little bit more, you know, like staring at you like she's pissed. And then we'll go down four more to like this one here. And this is... Uh, sadness, I guess. Uh, it doesn't, she doesn't really look ultra sad. She looks more like she's contemplating or deep in thought. And then uh, this right here is comfort slash ease. Again, that's kind of a, a rough translation there, but it kind of looks like she's thinking. I don't know. I wonder if the files got out of order. In fact, it actually kind of looks that way because this right here, the next thing I have on my list is this one. I know because it has pop in it, so I think these somehow got out of order, even though it was the same Japanese text on my Windows host computer when I was going through the files. Uh, maybe that's because we're running a Japanese localized copy of Windows 8.1 here, and so it just sorts the sorts the files or sorts the folders and files a little bit differently. But this next folder is another wallpaper. This is the happy birthday wallpaper, but it's just with Claudia in it. So, you know, this is her, or actually, is it the final? No, this is a different wallpaper. So this is happy birthday to Claudia. Um, 1985, I do love the subtle references to like dates, you know, because 1985 is, is when Windows 1.0 was released. So I find that kind of neat that they like include an, an aged wine bottle from 1985 in here. Really nice touch. And, uh, yeah, you got some balloons in the background. You got her looking ultra excited for her birthday, I guess. And, and yeah, so you've got, you know, the, the same situation going on here with the rough drafts and the line drawings. Yeah, that's that. And this right here is apparently a life-size stand slash image of her that I guess would be printed out and put on like a, you know, like a little cardboard stand thing that would stand at like one of... Microsoft's events or one of their delivery service partners events. But yeah, that's all of Claudia's stuff here. And next up is the family tree PDF. Now this goes to show you how committed that Microsoft and their delivery service partners were with this whole OS Ton thing. They actually made a family tree that kind of detailed like how these OS Ton characters are related to each other, which I mean, that's definitely some dedication. And this right here is the folder I went into in the original video, and I was like, oh my god, there's so much stuff. I mean, look at this. Look at all these folders in here. There's 35 folders. This is all Nanami's stuff, so she has a crap ton of stuff in here. I think it is going to be worth going through all of these, because most of these are wallpapers and things that have not been included in other theme packs, at least that we've taken a look at so far. And in the case of the first one here, this is actually another video featuring Nanami. It's actually an, like an introduction video to the Microsoft Touch Mouse for Windows 7. So it's not the like that Windows 8 version that came with the Windows 8 OS Ton box that I got. But yeah, at first I thought this was just like an advertisement, but then I started watching. So yes, Nanami comes up and acts like, uh, like a side character here where she's going to tell you about the mouse in Japanese and do a bit of translating for you. So we'll just let it play a little bit here. 
タッチマウスリミテッドパックナナミエディションのお買い上げありがとうございましたこのマウスは And so she kind of like disappears and, and goes back and forth between the you know, two sides of the screen there. And yes, we will see this artwork as well and how that they you know, created sketches and then made compositions from it. And then you know, some of the rejected designs that were not used to, to create this final piece of artwork、uh, on this disc as well. That stuff is on here. <laughs> But yeah, we won't play the entire video because it's pretty much her just going through and telling you about the mouse. And there's also a point where that same audio file from the green Nanami Madobe CD begins to play. So, yeah, that is the, the touch mouse little video there. And now we're getting into some of the wallpapers.、Uh, so, this here is a wallpaper that was not included with the Windows 7 theme that we already took a look at, but it, it does relate to that mouse because it's her holding the mouse, kind of like being in awe at surfing the web on, on her computer. And of course, we have, you know, the, the different. Sketches here and the compositions that eventually created this image. And these are some of the rejected designs that they apparently considered at one point. So here's her holding the mouse on the table. Here's like an underside table view, like assuming the table's transparent, of you know looking up at her and the, and the bottom side of the mouse here. And yeah, so next up here, this one is, I believe this is the Santa edition. Yeah, so here's a really early sketch of Nanami. Nami Madobe wearing a Santa Claus outfit. And here's the final image. We did not see this in the,、uh, in the Windows 7 pack that we took a look at either. So I assume either this was a promotional thing, maybe it was only included in this pack, or maybe there is a Windows 7 Christmas OS Ton theme out there somewhere, which would actually be pretty neat to get my hands on.、Um, but yeah, so here's her standing next to a Christmas tree. It looks like, you know, the, the stars in the background there are. Are like emanating from her hands, like, oh my gosh, look at that.、Uh, so, yeah, and here is looks like they changed the, or actually, was this the, yeah, this is the final one.、Um, this is a, a little bit of an earlier version of it. You can see that the background、uh, definitely looks completed in this version, but they went ahead and changed it for the final、uh, version here. And here is a much earlier drawing with, of the background here, just a really crude sketch of the Christmas tree and the stars there in the background. Moving on, this here is the Actual theme pack. Now, this I believe、uh, this might actually be one of the theme packs we've not taken a look at yet because it says touch mouse. So let's go ahead and just double click and apply this. So it does work in Windows 8 here, but I assume this was intended for Windows 7. That's why it's a dot theme pack file. The dot desk theme pack file is only compatible with Windows 8 and above. I've mentioned that in one of my earlier videos as well.、Um, but yeah, so here is that one wallpaper we just took a look at. And we'll go ahead and go to the next one. Okay, there it is. I just answered my own question. There's where that Christmas、uh, wallpaper originates from. And then we also have this one right here, which we will get into in, in a.、Uh, Moment because that is also included on the disc as well. So, yeah, and there's also some sound files here. We've got 24 in this case. It definitely sounds like some different sound effects. There's probably some overlap between them. And it does make sense. I mean, having one sound pack for all these themes isn't necessarily a bad thing because, I mean, these are supposed to replace like Windows sounds. You know, oh, there was an error, user account control comes up. So, I mean, it kind of makes sense to have those be consistent between these, these theme packs here when you're talking about the same character or the same voice actress, rather, narrating the same character,、uh, you know, in these, in these voice. Voice lines here. So,、uh, yeah, that's the theme pack. There's also a PDF file, which I believe is going to be,、uh, yeah, this is kind of another, you know, instructions document on how to apply the theme. And then this right here, I believe, is the wallpaper that we have applied right now. So, here's the final version of it. And this here is a rejected design because, as you can see, she has a different hair piece here. So, this is the final one. And just to confirm with the final wallpaper, you know, there it is. She's got this flower here. This This is one of the rough draft line drawings with the correct hair piece. And then this is the, just the line drawing of her with the background kind of, you know,、uh, blurred out there, or just kind of like the opacity lowered on it. 
And then this is uh, the the line drawing of her without any color added to it. And then there's there's color added to it. Actually, this is not. I don't believe this is a line drawing. I think this is just a uh, you know sketch of her. That's the word I'm looking for. This is the line drawing, and then this is color added to that line drawing. So uh, yeah, that's that wallpaper. And gosh, there's just there is there's so much stuff to take a look at, guys. It's not even funny. These next three are wallpapers that we saw in the original Windows 7 theme that we took a look at in the first video. So this is that one where she's advertising like some of the hardware that you'll need to buy to build your Windows 7 computer. Though this is one of the rejected designs because it actually has some additional stuff here like hyper-threading AMD64 slash EM64T. This was not included in the final wallpaper. Here's another version of that where this text is red. Here's another version with clouds instead of like polygons to, you know, contain all these little images and, and text blurbs and things. And you can see the outline around her changes as well. So this right here is the final image, okay, that we saw in that other video. And then this right here is a line drawing of just her and the cat. And then, yeah, we're back to the beginning here. So you can see, like, if I were to open up, you know, this one here, they do look pretty similar, but if I were to, you know, put these here and just swap between them, you can see that there are definitely changes, even to the, the sizing. And in some cases, I think the image itself, yeah, the image itself actually changes there. For some reason, they... Yeah, that's, that, that's interesting. This TV tuner has much more detail than this one here. This is like more of a, you know, just like vector kind of illustration here. There's a lot more detail to this one, which I find interesting uh, that they decided to... I mean, I guess they wanted to make it more simplistic. But yeah, if we take a look at like the, you know, CPU thing, it doesn't say hyper-threading AMD 64, all that. It just says multi-core 64-bit. And next up, we've got the Media Center wallpaper. So this was, just to give you a refresher, this image right here of her laying on the couch with the cat, you know, looking at, you know, you're, you're kind of looking at her from the, the backside of the computer screen, you know, and her, she's using Windows Media Center, or perhaps probably a, a, a reflection, like you're looking at the screen, it's, you know, reflecting back to her but yeah so this is the final image and they had a lot of rejected sketches for this six in fact these are all rejects so we'll go through them one by one so this is her sitting on the couch with the cat this is her sitting on the couch you know with the cat on her lap this is her laying down pointing the remote like directly in the center of the screen as opposed to the way it was in the final version this is her like sitting at her computer and then this is her, you see they actually added color to this one. This is a really like early color stage here. She's standing up with the remote and the cat's got a blanket over it on the couch. And then this, the final rejected sketch is very close to the final design, but they've got like these two other people here, like looking at her. And this text is presumably just like a, you know, just placeholder stuff because they're going to add the like Windows Media Center overlay uh, later on. But yeah, I mean, that's very close to the final design. And then we get into some earlier iterations of the final image here. As you can see how the remote actually changes a little bit. I mean, this just looks like a JPEG of a remote that they put in here. Uh, and then you've got, you know, the early sketch here. We've got the, the line drawing of her. And we're back to the beginning here. So again, it's, I mean, I've probably said it a few times here, but it is, it's really neat to see this stuff. I mean, I'm not a graphic designer or an illustrator, but it's cool to just see this process through these images here. Now, this is uh, the last image from the original theme pack here. So this is her touching the screen and kind of like drawing a box, you know, around like some icons or some some images here. You got like some photos flying around there in the in the back. So this right here is the uh, this is actually a reject. These are rejected sketches. Um, so you see how the background changed between them and her hands there between three and four changed as well. And then you've got your line drawing here. You've got your uh, rough sketch here, and then they add color to the rough sketch. So that's that. And then now we get into, uh, I believe this actually is the theme pack. Uh, let me see. Yep, yeah, this is the theme pack that we already took a look at in the other video. We can apply it here. 
Yeah, this is the theme pack that I hope does not start screaming at you uh, whenever you... Well, let's see if we close a program here, because that was that sound effect that was on. Okay, thank God it's off. Yeah, that was really annoying from the other video where it had the close program sound effect on by default to where when you close the program, and even... Like, I don't know why it was even a thing in Windows in the first place, because it also corresponded to background processes, too, to where when a background process would close, it would play the closed program sound effect, which is quite annoying. So, yeah, we've already taken a look at this in the other videos. So we're just going to skip past it here. And then now we get into some additional illustrations that I had not seen prior to this pack here. And they're apparently a part of a promo, a Windows 7 New Life Springtime promo thing where they kind of show Nanami doing different springtime activities like jogging in this instance here. So you see you've got a few um, rejected sketches of her shirt color. Really the, the, the only thing that changes between these is the shirt color. Uh, and then this is the final image. Um, so they went with pink for the final version here. You've got your uh, initial rough sketch there. And then this here is the, uh, this is the line drawing with color added to it. And yeah, so that's that. This one is uh, her swimming. So let's kind of, oh, no, sorry, biking. Biking is the next one. This is her biking. So here's the final version of it here. And you've got, of course, your your sketches and, and line drawings and whatnot. This one should be swimming. So, yeah, here's her, you know, holding a towel. Like, it looks like you got water running down her body there, you know. Yeah, so that's her. <laughs> that's her. I guess she just got out of the pool or something. And now we get into something interesting. Windows Home Server. Microsoft actually did some OS Ton stuff for Windows Home Server. And for some reason, this is a Christmas version. It's not really Home Server specific either. I mean, well, she is holding Home Server. So that's the only thing that makes it Home Server specific. Other than that, it's just like a Merry Christmas, you know, Windows 7, Windows Home Server. Great together. Yeah, this is the final wallpaper. And you've got the sketches and line drawings. I would love for someone to keep a counter of how many times I say sketches and line drawings. Uh, now someone's going to do it in the comments you watch. Next up is the, uh, this is kind of a, a build your PC kind of promo thing where they show Nanami like, oh look, and they're actually building it on the table this time instead of on the floor like you and I were in the previous video. So she's holding a stick of RAM, posing for a photo, uh, and you know, you got Windows Home Server like right there. You can barely recognize that it's Windows Home Server. It looks like they got something like playing on Windows Media Center. Either this is a TV or a computer monitor that she's, you know, have plugged into another computer. This cat appears in like every freaking photo. So you got a sticker of the cat on her computer and yeah you've got your I'm not even going to say it because I'm not going to add on to that counter so you've got your other images here and this is actually cool it looks like they just had a like the starting out they had a really crude just box here that was going to be like the motherboard I guess oh that's supposed to be a screwdriver um which isn't even in the final image. They don't even have the screwdriver there at all. So yeah, this was like a promo thing to like show you you could build your computer. Like if an anime character can do it, well, of course you can do it. So uh, yeah, I'm sure that was the, uh, the exact thought process. This right here is a Happy New Year thing wishing you a wonderful PC year. Ah, uh, yes, of course. But this was cool too because there's actually some... Nengazo in here, which are pretty much New Year's cards that were very, are very popular in Japan to send around to your friends and your relatives, as far as I'm aware. It's kind of similar to how we do Christmas cards here in the West. And there are some other Japanese customs that we're going to see in here as well. I believe the next uh, one is actually, this is what we were just in, right? Yeah. Uh, the next one here, yep, this is the one I was thinking of. So this is Nanami sitting under a tree with some snacks and her cat here, and she's just admiring the beauty of the flowers. And in Japan, that's actually a traditional custom known as Hanami. That's another wallpaper there. 
And right here, this is the last Windows Home Server related thing. This is Valentine's Day. So she's got some chocolates here. So she's dressed up, you know, in some winter gear and she's handing out like Windows 7 branded chocolates, it looks like. She's got a bunch of them. So I assume she's just handing them out to whoever walks by. She's standing in front of a cafe here. And there are some, you know, different designs in here. These two were uh, rejected um, sketches. So you can see she's got like what looks like a cardboard box here to contain the chocolates. And this is a little bit more of an appealing looking looking container. Um, but yeah, so the, the angle slightly changes and then this is the final image. Or actually, I'm sorry, this is a rejected coloring. The uh, red headband that she's wearing is not in the final wallpaper. So this here is the final wallpaper. You see it's green. So between these two, that's about the only thing that changes. So they decided to make it green instead of red for whatever reason. And then next up, we've got Happy Windows 7. So these actually relate to the CD that kicked this whole OS Ton saga off on this channel. So this first one is actually the design of the CD. So uh, yeah, here is that final piece of artwork that was, you know, put on the front of the disc. And then uh, this initial one here is, you know, a, a, a sketch of just Nanami here. And as we go through, we've got just Nanami here that was, you know, added to the CD. And then we've got a line uh, drawing of her there. So that's this first one. And then this here is actually the contents of that CD, those same two audio files. Uh, so this one here is the one with lyrics. So we'll just skip through it here. So that's that. And this is the instrumental. So I've already archived this disc, but you know, they're also included on this disc as well. And then you also have images of the inside of the jewel sleeve here. And then you've got the exterior of it as well, which you can see actually the little serial number here is just all zeros because this was kind of the base that they used to, to print all of those. So yeah, next up, we've got something that I was quite surprised to see on this disc. We've got some 3D models in this connect for windows folder this roughly translated to connect for windows special pack 3d data and all the folders inside of it are already in english we've got a 3d data set folder and then we've got these two folders here which contain 3d model files for two separate programs along with these tga files now these tga files are in both and of course windows explorer had to crash again uh those tga files are in both of the folders and they are identical so i went ahead and converted those to png so we can just open them up in the vm here it just looks all janked up when it's flattened out here but yeah this is nanami's body this is her face which looks super screwed up of course and this is her hair so yeah we're going to actually open these up we've got the program here this is autodesk and this is specifically autodesk fbx review uh, which is the free like viewer program so we're going to go ahead and open up if i can find it here the uh whoops that's the wrong uh, folder we're in we'll go back to here we're gonna go ahead and open up this fbx file and we'll see what this looks like i have not seen this before so uh yeah that is uh that is definitely a 3d model and it, it's really bright but that's nanami so like i mean this is the like they, they've got 3d models in here that you can use for like making animations and stuff i mean I find it really cool that they, I mean, obviously all the other stuff in here is already pretty neat that they included all the illustrations and the drafts and the rejected stuff, but now they've got 3D models in here. So the other file types here, you got those same TGA files, and then you've got a PMM and a PMD file. Now a PMD file is a page maker document. So that's what kind of threw me off for a second. I was like, wait a second, what is this? Well, it's actually uh, for a program called Miku Miku Dance. <laughs> We're getting into some real weeb stuff right here. So I've, I've downloaded this. The PMM file is a Miku Miku Dance Polygon Movie Maker file. So Polygon Movie Maker PMM. And the PMD, in addition to being a page maker document, uh, in this case, it's not a page maker document, but you know, they use the same file extension. Uh, it's also a Miku Miku Dance 
polygon model data. This is the program. And we're going to just go ahead and uh, open and let's see. So it wants to search for, okay, the PMM file. So we'll just drag the PMM file into here and let's just see. <laughs> it crashes. Oh, isn't that exciting? All right. Maybe let's try to open it by using the open dialog here. And it, okay, it crashes for some reason. Maybe let's try running it as admin. <laughs> like, what the heck? That's so, uh, that's so bizarre. Yeah, it doesn't like that for some reason. Uh, maybe let's try the PMD. Let's just change this to all files and open up the PMD here. This isn't the data for Polygon Movie Maker. Evidently, we can't uh, open up this file for some reason. It just literally causes the program to crash, which is really unfortunate. But at least we got to take a look at the Autodesk one here. Um, but yeah, there's 3D models in here. Like, that's just cool to me that they even bother to include that. So yeah, this next connect folder is, uh, gosh, I gotta get back to my translated. I've got so many freaking windows opened up on this computer. Yeah, this is the special pack illustration. So this first one is a rejected sketch. This is, uh, the completed illustration right here. So it's her like holding computer parts. I don't know why it's branded as like connect for windows, but that's what it's, it's branded as. So of course you got your you know, sketches in here. You got your rejected uh, sketch with her in a different pose. And now we get into the sweet memory illustration. So this you may remember from the Windows 8 video, there was that little emblem. It wasn't a sticker. It was like just printed on the box, but there was that sticker advertising a Windows 7 Nanami Madobe sweet memory thing. And it was kind of like a promo uh, for, I believe, existing Windows 7 users where they could like sign up to get some extra stuff. And this is an illustration that, uh, oh, this actually appears in the um, picture password graphic as well. That's interesting. So yeah, and this looks like the, oh, I see. This is like on, on the side of, a, of the CD here. Unfortunately, we don't have the actual, like an image of the, the full CD. So now we're getting into some more like generic Nanami Madobe stuff. Uh, this is just her in various different poses and stuff. And then this one is her in another pose, actually in a completely different outfit as well. So here is the uh, sketches. And uh, the line drawing is, I believe, this right here. So yeah, that's that. And this right here is another video. This is a commercial that you've probably seen before. Yep, this is the Nanami Madobe commercial once again. And it's also in 1080p. So it's interesting that they, they just bundled like everything. All the other stuff that I have pretty much, at least as far as I can tell, is all contained on this one disc. Yeah, they just threw everything on here for whatever reason. I mean, I'm not complaining. I think it's great. Um, but yeah, so this one is another one of those. Well, at least this portion here is a little bit of a color palette, but it's just kind of detailing the different accessories and things that she wears. And then this is an image with her, like her front, her back and her side, just with, a, you know, without all the colors added to it. And then this is like different facial expressions and moods. This one right here is Nanami holding up some more computer parts, wearing an apron or something, because you know, that's what you do when you build a computer, right? And you've got your sketches and line drawings and all that. Uh, and right here, we got a bit of a, of a larger one. This is uh, the Nanami Madobe swimsuit illustration. So just kind of randomly thrown in here is this, image of her let's let's get to the final one here so yeah this is it she's in a swimsuit like raising her arm and cheering or whatever and you got all these different variations of the swimsuit that she's wearing and some of them actually incorporate like the windows colors like the red green blue and yellow there and you also have that like a little bit in that stripe there and the, yeah like the yellow is the is the dominant color You've got kind of some pedal stuff going on there. Right here, you've got another set of illustrations with her wearing a yukata, uh, which literally translates to bathrobe. So this right here is the final uh, version of the sketch, or not the sketch, the, the final image. You've got your various rejected sketches here with different designs. And it looks like the, the final version definitely implements the Windows colors, uh, somewhat at least. And next up, we have something that's actually kind of interesting, an Intel and Microsoft joint promo thing. Although there's nothing really indicating that this is Intel at all, other than her just holding up a box that I would assume 
would say Intel on it in the final version, but we don't have that here at all. This is the final illustration. And so she's holding up this box just, just or like a book. It's just blue, kind of like a with a light effect on it. That's it. But apparently it is an Intel thing because that's what the uh, title of the folder roughly translated to. And it's also cool. They do have notes and stuff um, to like the various people working on this. In fact, sometimes it'll say like, I think in this case, it's actually down here. It says that they changed the position of the hands. Please let me know or please show me which one is better. So it's like writing notes to other designers or the designer's boss that was like going over this stuff and giving final approval. And you can see this is the hands that they're talking about, how there's like a different, you know, you can see more of the hand in, in this one here. And what do they ultimately go with? Let's see. They went with the, like her just holding it on the tip of her fingers almost, rather than her hand like grasping uh, over it, you know, a little bit there. So yeah, it's those little details that they uh, that they would change, which is neat. So yeah, and this you see is a, we got a crap ton of stuff in here. This is the first anniversary Windows 7 Thanksgiving life-size panel trading cards. Yeah, we've got trading cards in here. Anyone want to start an OS Ton trading card game? You don't really have much to work with. You've got like three trading cards here. And then these are apparently the life-size models, which I would assume because I have definitely seen images of like life-size models at various, you know, conventions and launch events in Japan. So I assume that's what these were. Like this would be, you know, her, like a life-size version of her. And then you would put something on this sign here. But yeah, you got her in a bunch of different like, aprons here that she's wearing you got a black one a red one a lighter red one and a purple one a lighter purple you got an orange one dark blue lighter blue greenish teal another blue sketches and whatnot it's neat to see how they did this so they went through a few different uh, variations of the sign, like her holding it with both hands, her holding it with her hands like diagonal there, a little bit further away from her body, and then ultimately the one that they went with, which is like a sign poking out of the ground with her hands on the top. Next up, we've got the uh, character setting material collection. You got some more like diagrams here. This is uh, specifically about the cat and the uh apparently the cat's paws were the uh windows flag colors look at that you got nanami here with some various like you know pointing out various things on her on her body i think this is talking about like how you're supposed to illustrate let me just do a little bit of a translation here yeah so like this is saying brown shoes this is saying to add a ribbon here um, I would like to add a pocket. These are all just rough translations, of course. I would like to use dark color as an accent. So it's kind of like that other thing that we saw where they're kind of making notes to uh, their boss or other designers. And apparently these were some other, this is actually really interesting. Apparently these were some other considered models for Nanami. I mean, the same base model, but with like different hair colors. That's really neat. And uh, right here, we've got three folders left in here. This is another set of images in that different art style where, you know, she's a little bit smaller here. And this actually, I believe, was used in that video of the mouse. In fact, let me go back here and find it here. This first one all the way up at the top. You remember this? Where it's like she's on screen, you know, talking about the mouse and stuff. I'm pretty sure, let's just set this over here, uh, not snapping it to the window, but... Pretty sure if we go through here, that one of these will be, yep, there it is. So these were used in this video. So we got two more folders in here. This one is, it just translated to Nanami Madobe illustration. And you've got four rejects in here. So these are, they, they look just like standard Nanami Madobe, you know, images. But if you notice, they're slightly different. Some of the colors have been changed, like the bow tie there as we go between them. So yeah, they just made subtle changes to it and just decided to throw these in like the reject bin. And then you've got a set of unused illustrations. So you've got 11 unused illustrations, and then you have one sketch, one finished illustration, and a uh, sketch that they decided on, you know, basing the the final image off of. So we go through here. These are just illustrations of poses that she's in that were not used. So she's like reading a book there. She looks angry there. Looks surprised. Looks kind of. This one looks similar to one of the poses I've seen her in. 
And then you've got the, this is the um, unused final illustration of her just laying on the floor. And then this is the sketch of that or the, the you know, sketch that had more work done to it. This is the initial sketch. And yeah, so that is everything in this folder, but we are not done yet. I know this video is, uh, this, this video is going to be pretty long, just if you guys haven't noticed that by now. And I want to thank you for sticking around for this long, if you have. So that's the Nanami Madobe folder. Luckily, these two folders here don't have a whole lot in them. We'll start with the smallest one first, and that's the Madobe family one. And this folder contains two more folders, can you believe that, for Comic Cat 83 and 84, or Comic Market. Now, this here is a convention in Japan that is held twice a year, and it's pretty much a fan convention where people get together to, you know, sell self published works and things like that. But Microsoft actually had a bit of a part in this. They had a booth there, they were selling merchandise, even selling Windows 8.1 DSP edition. They even had people cosplaying as the OS Ton girls. And so these here were. I believe this is a wallpaper uh, that just, you know, advertises Comic Cat 83 and 84. So you've got the sketch here, adding some clothing to it. Here is the final image. Yeah, so that's 83, and then you've got 84 as well, which, yeah, you got kind of a similar vibe going on with everyone here chilling out. And, uh, yeah, you got your, you know, sketches, line drawings. And then, yeah, this last folder here, this is Madobe, U, and I. So they're both in this same folder here, uh, which makes sense because they're like twins or whatever. And you see we've got a decent amount of stuff in here, but certainly not as much as the Nanami Madobe. Uh, folder. So a lot of this stuff uh, we have seen before and some of it we have not seen before. So right here is you and I in a Christmas theme here. They're dressed as like Santa Claus and they're staring out the window and, you know, I guess looking for Santa Claus or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, so this is a desktop wallpaper and you've got, you know, your various like sketches and stuff. And this was apparently like, a, I guess they had this one here that they ended up uh, just not using. And you've got this like, you know, diagram here of, you know, just the like front pose. I don't really say like a diagram, but just like a front pose of them really, you know, early stages there. And yeah, so that's that. Uh, this next one is, uh, let's see, these are, okay, these are the two themes. Now, we've already taken a look. Actually, no, we haven't, because these are the Christmas themes. That's right. So there's two versions of these themes. And they both have uh, you and I version. So we'll just apply the I version. Merry Christmas! Madobe I desu! So there it is. And we will see... Uh, actually, I don't know if we'll see all these wallpapers. I know there's the Christmas one. And then we've got uh, this image here. And then I think, is that it? Or is there just two? I guess so. Um, I believe the images are consistent between the you and I version Merry of the Christmas. theme pack. The only thing Madobe that changes... Yes. The only thing that changes, I didn't mean to cut off you there. Uh, the only thing that changes is the voice lines. Um, so, and that, that was the same case with the other themes that we took a look at in the previous video. And then you got a readme RTF file, and then you have the uh, sound files in here. They both uh, contain 34 sounds. So there you go. And then version two here, I wonder if the... Okay, so yeah, the wallpapers do change. And this, yeah, we've not seen this one before. This is slightly different from that other shopping one. Um, this I do think we've seen before. Or maybe I've just, I just remember seeing it off camera. But yeah, you got two wallpapers here. And we'll just apply the uh, the U theme here. And yeah, once again, the I don't mean, I keep like thinking she's done talking, but I, I forgot she like says... Madobe U test at the end there. So, uh, yeah. So you got both of them, you know, same same wallpaper, all that good stuff. But uh, just the thing that changes is the uh, is the sound, uh, you know, pack. So yeah, we'll go ahead and why don't we apply um, this other one here? I'm not going to cut her off that time. So we'll just apply the uh, the I version of the theme. But yeah, so those are the additional themes that we have not had another copy of. So. Those were evidently, I would assume, released on another, you know, perhaps like a Christmas. And it's not even like this is necessarily Christmas themed. I mean, well, I guess some of it is. I mean, this is definitely like a winter theme, uh, but there's only that one Christmas wallpaper on the on the version one. So this right here is another wallpaper. 
Um, so you got your, oh, actually, yeah, here it is right here. Of course, we've got our, you know, sketches and stuff. And these are really cool. These like panels here. It's really neat to see this. Um, evidently, they just rejected this design here. This would actually be a neat wallpaper to have, like them running up the stairs and the dog down there. That's, that's just kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, so that's that one. And this one here is the, like, you know, them shopping with Windows 8 bags. And here's a, wow, that looks totally different, doesn't it? Like this entire building over here has changed. They, they definitely made a lot of changes to that. And here's just the two characters just on their own. So... Yeah, Madobe uh, Yu is just looking at her Nokia Lumix phone, I would assume, and eyes pointing at something. So, yeah, <laughs> there you go. And uh, right here, I believe this is another wallpaper. Yep, this is the that one of them sitting on the floor. So all the wallpapers were in here. For some reason, I thought, I mean, well, they're, they're in the theme, obviously, but for some reason, I thought one of them wasn't, like, it, it didn't have this whole breakdown, but it does. These right here, at least these first couple ones, are wallpapers papers that we have seen in the other theme pack. So this one is I'm Adobe sitting at her computer using the wedge mouse. So we can kind of see a breakdown of this. So here's like an earlier iteration of it with a smaller, you know, tablet here and a smaller phone. And we can uh, jump to the next one. Here's a really early drawing. This one here is you Adobe using the tablet. And so you can see they actually changed uh, like this. This earlier version had like a laptop, which I guess they realized didn't really make much sense. Like she's here using a tablet and then there's a laptop on the table with like a disk drive or something or probably an external hard drive attached to it. Um, and so I guess they just they just changed that to a plate of cookies and tea there. So, yeah. And then here is a really early version of the sketch. Yeah, this one is, uh, okay, we've got, yeah, these are the themes that we've already taken a look at. Uh, if you remember from the original Windows 8 video and then in the last video where I unboxed Beta Collector's package, there was another Windows 8 OS Ton package and that had the other two themes on it. So we've already seen all of these, but we'll just apply one of them here. And yeah, so here's I, Madobe using the computer, and yeah, we've already seen that. So yeah, we'll just breeze on by that. This is the image of them on the floor building the computer. So this is the final version of it here with the Windows 8 Pro DSP box sitting on the floor. And here's like an earlier version. You can see the lighting looks different. The box is gone. The, the screwdriver and this part over here is gone. And then here's a really early sketch. I, th I think my favorite thing uh, to see are these really early sketches. That's just pretty cool to me. This is the picture password image. You know, you got Nanami and I and then you here. Oh, this one was actually never used. This is you and I Madobe like together. That one was not an actual image that was fully developed. So this is like an early sketch of that. And I guess they just scrapped it. So yeah, this is the closest thing that we have to that. But they're like, facing away from each other like they're supposed to be like their hands are supposed to be touching like this here uh that's not happening here but yeah so that's the picture password wallpaper this is the launch day wallpaper which is them in you know aki habara you know at like the launch event and we saw this wallpaper as well but you can see this earlier iteration of it did not have the like you know silhouettes of the people here in the in the background just chilling out that's really the only major difference between these i can't really notice anything else even lighting changes uh the lighting looks the same although there is a tiny little thing up there you see that look really closely there there's like that one tiny set of pixels that changes but yeah so here is the the sketch of it yeah you even got like a signature or a date up here and then here's a more completed sketch and yeah there's the final image and next up this is the i believe this is just it just says you and i Adobe illustration so yeah, this is both of them just chilling out pretty much. You've got I'm Adobe in a different color dress here. And it looks like here they were experimenting with different hairstyles, or perhaps it's just an early version of I based off of you, because I is the one with longer hair here. So yeah. And then here is, uh, these were actually their facial expressions on the packaging, because my you package has her with this exact facial expression with her hand posed exactly like this. And the eye one is exactly like this. So I assume that's what these 
images were ultimately used and perhaps other stuff as well. And it looks like we've got four left. This one right here is that advertisement for that uh, concert thing. If you remember uh, from the previous video, there was that little pamphlet that was included that was advertising this concert. And this image was also on that disc and it was kind of them advertising this concert in a in a digital form here. You know, they're like here on stage singing or, or whatever. So yeah, this is that wallpaper. And then here's like an early sketch of it and here's a later sketch of it. Uh, so yeah, there you go. This one here, I believe, is the, yeah, the raincoat wallpaper. We also saw this in the previous video as well. This is the final wallpaper, and then you've got your sketches and line drawings, and then just I and you there. Next up, we've got two audio files, and these are branded as uh, relating to the spring 2013 disc, but these were not included on the disc itself. So let's go ahead and just listen to these very briefly. So I believe both of these have lyrics. Just skip through it here a little bit, yeah. So these are sung by the voice actresses that voice you and I. And Miracle Days, obviously the 8 replacing the A is like a bit of a pun, Windows 8, you know. So yeah, you got that. And then this one roughly translated to whatever the future holds, which is kind of like an optimistic feeling song here. So yeah, we're not going to play the entire thing just in case the music mafia decides to come after me. And last but not least, we've got four folders within a folder. So these are some more, of course, Windows Explorer. God, how many times does Windows Explorer crash in this video? I mean, oh my gosh. Um, okay, let's, let's go back into here. So these are uh, four different sets of illustrations in uh, that different animation style again, where they're, you know, a little bit smaller here. So this is the Christmas variant of it. And they all are similar in the sense that they have uh, different expressions, different moods. So right here, you've got, uh, this is like sorrow, you've got joy, You've got like easy going, I believe is what this roughly translated to. And then you've got angry. And then of course you have the different like, you know, this is like the earlier uh, version of that. And these are the final images here. So there you go. This next one, you've got just them dressed in different attire, but they have the same like sorrow, happy, easy going, angry. And then you've got the, you know, newer versions of it, although not a whole lot changes between, oh, I think it's because there's only, yeah, because there's only the four images in here, that's right. This one is, uh, you've got, what, five images, so you've got, this is just them dressed in their, like, normal attire, so you've got, again, the same four facial expressions, and then you've got a single line drawing. And then last but not least, the final folder, you got two more images here, of them dressed in similar attire, but with Japanese text in the center that translates to Lucky Bag, which as far as I know, is a custom in Japan where uh, retailers like around New Year's will sell mystery bags full of random goods at a discount. It's just kind of a way to incentivize you to, to shop there. So yeah, they had something going on with that. Maybe at like one of the launch events or at one of these conventions, maybe Microsoft had something like that and maybe this is where this appeared. I don't know, but either way, that is everything on this disc, and uh, oh my gosh, this video is going to be quite the bear to edit, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you made it all the way through, allow me to thank you. I know most people are not going to do that, and I get it because like hour plus long videos are not something that everybody's going to want to watch, but if you found this interesting, and if you want to see more stuff like this, I don't have any more anime stuff, Windows related anime stuff to take a look at on the channel, but if there is enough demand for this stuff, I'll definitely try and source some more things, and hopefully I won't have to make hour long videos on them, but either way, I've got some awesome vintage tech content coming in the future some really exciting stuff that i can't wait to share with you guys so stay tuned for that and if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up get subscribed all that good stuff and as always i want to thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next video